It's men versus women in a battle of the sexes. Women or men, which is the better sex? And here are the stars of the better sex, Bill Anderson and Sarah Purcell. Where my current men's team has won twenty-eight thousand dollars, they're mm. going to try to win five thousand more. First off, let me get the lipstick off your cheek. <laughs> I'll put a little more on there. I like it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Neil, how are you? Neil Gilvey, air traffic controller at Norton Air Force Base. And Vern. Vern Duncan retired. Yeah, and you're quite a player on our team too, Robert. Robert Nisnik, I'm an air traffic controller at Santa Monica Airport. I'd love to talk with you guys about air traffic control sometime. Yeah. That fascinates me. Bob? Bill? Bob Cartmel, detective, L.A. County Sheriff's. That fascinates me, too. Angel? Angel Figueroa, owner of the Mexican restaurant of San Jacinto, California. That really fascinates me. I love Mexican food. And Mike? Mike Zacuigi, L.A. County firefighter. All right. There you have the better sex. Right there. <laughs> when we left off... Mike Zacuigi, L.A. County firefighter. All right. There you have the better sex. Right there. When we left off last time, these guys had just defeated the women's team, won themselves $1,000, and we're all set to go down and play for 5,000 more against 30 ladies in our studio audience. We're going to go down right now, and we're going to come right back. Don't you leave us. Here we go. show where the men's team is all set to try to win five thousand dollars to go with the twenty eight thousand that they already have guys i don't know if you realize it or not the most anybody's ever won on this show is thirty four thousand if you win this game here against the audience you'll be at thirty three thousand so there's a lot at stake in addition to the money there's a lot of pride at stake but i've got a feeling these ladies have got pride too and i don't think they're going to give in easy so could we get you to please stand Each one of the men up here gets one question, and with that one question, tries to fool and knock out as many of you ladies as they can. If they knock out all 30 of you, they win $5,000. But if they don't, any of you that remain standing win $500, or divide $500 if there's more than one. If you'll get your little red and green lights there that look like ping pong paddles or whatever they are, we'll begin. Neil, you've got question number one. Are you ready? Yes, sir. According to the Information Please Almanac for 1978, what is the most commonly used punctuation mark in the English language? There's the correct answer. Use that or make up a bluff, whichever you think will best fool the ladies. The comma. If you agree with the comma, vote yes, and if not, vote no. Eleven of the ladies agreed with the comma. Nineteen disagreed. The correct answer is the comma. If you voted no, sit down. Got a boy, Neil. We're off to a good start. Eleven ladies standing in our studio audience. Five men here to try and knock them out for $5,000. You ready, Tiger? I am. <laughs> By what name is American historical figure John Chapman better known? I'm sorry, about what nickname is John Chapman better known? Johnny Appleseed. If you agree that it's Johnny Appleseed, vote yes. If not, vote no. All right, we don't get a prrrr, but okay, we got it there. Six agreed, five disagreed with Johnny Appleseed. The correct answer is Johnny Appleseed. If you voted no, sit down. All right, we're down to six, Robert. Six ladies, four men to the big money. One of Charlie's Angels also used to be in the Rookies. Which one? Cheryl Ladd. If you agree with Cheryl Ladd, vote yes. If not, vote no. Okay. <laughs> Two of the ladies agreed with Cheryl Ladd. Four of the ladies disagreed. The correct answer is Kate Jackson. If you voted yes, sit down. Okay, Big Bob. 
four ladies remain standing. We've got three men here to try and knock them out for the big money. According to Agricultural Outlook magazine, what product is the leading source of American farm income? Need an answer, Bob. Cattle. If you agree with cattle, vote yes. If not, vote no. All right, one of the ladies agreed. Three disagreed with cattle. The correct answer is cattle. If you voted no, sit down. And we're down to one. <laughs> I've been here before. One very there. excited lady on the front row. Angel is up at bat for the men's team. We've got two chances to knock her out. One of the members of the comedy team of Laurel and Hardy was always saying, this is another fine mess you've gotten me into. Now, which one said this gag line? Would I lie to you? Oliver Hardy. If you agreed that it was Oliver Hardy, vote yes, which you've already done. Okay. You said Oliver Hardy. You agreed. The correct answer is Oliver Hardy. We didn't fool her, Angel, and she's still in the game. Okay, Mike. One man left up here, one lady left out there. You're either going to win $5,000 for the team or you're going to win $500 all by yourself. What would Grandpa McCoy say at a time like this? Well, you have to say I'm awfully excited. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. According to a poll of business executives reported in the Los Angeles Times, what city has the worst city government? Los Angeles. If you agree with Los Angeles, vote yes. If not, vote no, which you've already done. All right, here we go. You said the answer was Los Angeles. She disagreed. The correct answer is New York City, and you just won yourself This is the little thing that defeated this great big <laughs> men's team all by yourself. You just won yourself $500. Fantastic. What's your name and where are you from? Elaine Weiner. I live in Cerritos. And what do you do? I'm a woman's editor for a newspaper. Oh, my gosh. Well, <laughs> terrific. What are you going to do with the money? Uh, I don't know. I <laughs> haven't even thought that far yet, huh? No. Well, congratulations to you. You did Thank beautifully. Thank you very much. Thank you. And now we have a brand new women's team. I'd like you to meet them. <laughs> Joanna? Yes. I'm Johanna Kendall. I'm a wife, a mother, and a student. Helen? I'm Helen Avila. I'm a wife. Homemaker and mother of three. Jackie? I'm Jackie Kirkman. I'm a full-time student at El Camino College. Karen? I'm Karen Tripp, and I have two daughters, and I'm self-employed. Wendy? I'm Wendy Williams. I'm a wife, a, a mother of two, and a teacher. And Sherry? Sherry Wiesenthal, student at UCLA in interior design. And there you have the better set right here. Come on up, Joanna. We haven't won anything yet, but we got to get working on it here. Playboy magazine recently asked 100 women what type of foreign man they would prefer as a lover. What was the lady's number one choice? There's your card. Mumble, mumble out there in the audience. <laughs> French. Angel, do you think it was French men that was their number one choice? Well, they're well known for, uh, yeah. For what? For that, right? Well, you can ask Vern on that, but you know, also Latin people has a very much uh, uh, on, renown on that. So I would have to disagree. You're I said no. Disagree with French, okay? Robert, you say yes or no to French? Oh, well, I think they would go for Italians. So you're saying I'm no? I'm saying no. All right, Robert and Angel are on the line. If you fooled her, you've knocked her out. Otherwise, uh, she's knocked you out. We say the answer French is the incorrect answer. The foreign men the ladies chose was Italian in the Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, Mike, pick one of the other five ladies you'd like to have sit on the bench because you know we get two with each question. Number five. Sherry. Okay, Sherry's gone. Four of them are left. 
In a recent survey conducted by Seventeen magazine, teenage girls across the country were asked to name their favorite hobby. Now, what hobby was their favorite? Well, I'd have to say that it was sewing. Mm. <laughs> Wendy, do you agree or disagree sewing? I, I disagree. You're going to disagree? I say it's no. All right, we have a no vote. Karen? Uh, I disagree also because I have a teenage daughter and she likes horseback riding. I think that's the big thing now. All right, All right. we have our two no votes. Mike, we say sewing is wrong. Teenage, gir teenage girl's favorite hobby is sewing. Oh. And you're out. <laughs> Out of board, Mike. All right, two ladies are left. Put them away, and the men can win that thousand dollars and go for that five thousand again. In our northern hemisphere, during what season is the Earth closer to the sun? Winter or summer? Would you believe summer? Jackie, make it summer. <clears throat> Yes, I, I think it is. We have a yes vote. Helen? I agree with her. I think yes. Uh -huh. You think it is? All right. Keep your fingers crossed, because if he's fooled us, the men have won the game. Mike, we say that the answer summer is correct. The Earth is closer to the sun in the winter, and oh. you're out, and the men have won the game. My go-go men have just won another $1,000. They're going to try to win five. And more right after you watch these commercial messages. Come on, big team. We're back. The men are back down here again. They just won another thousand dollars. They've got twenty-nine thousand now. If they can defeat the thirty ladies in the studio audience on this audience knockout match. They will have a total of $34,000, which will tie the all-time record on the better sex. Are you guys up to it? Ready? Hey, all, right. all right. You ladies think they can do it? No! <laughs> Why don't you stand up and get those voting indicators, and let's get with it here. All right. Get your little magic wands there. <laughs> and we'll do it just like we did it a while ago. One question from each guy, $5,000 up here, or $500 to any of you that aren't fooled. On what side of a dollar bill does it say, in God we trust? Mike? Oh, for goodness sake, it says the back. Okay, if you agree with the back, vote yes. If not, vote no. <coughs> 17 of the ladies agreed with the back. 13 of the ladies disagreed with the back. The correct answer is the back. If you voted no, sit down. All right, 17 ladies still standing out there, Neil, between us and $5,000. Klaus Fuchs, Colonel Rudolph Abel, and Belle Boyd are all famous members of one profession. In what profession did they achieve their fame? As spies. If you agree that they were spies, vote yes, and if not, vote no. Nine of the ladies agreed with spies. Eight of the ladies disagreed. The correct answer is as spies. If you voted no, sit down. Nine ladies out there, Big Bob, between us and $5,000 and tying the all-time record on the show. Which language is spoken by a greater number of people, English or Russian? English. If you agree with English, vote yes. If not, vote no. Six of the ladies agree with English. Three disagree. The correct answer is English. If you voted no, sit down. Half a dozen of them for you out there, Vern. Three men left up here. Six ladies left out there for $5,000. His Indian name was Tatanka Yotanka. But by what name was this Sioux Indian leader better known to us? Crazy Horse. If you agree with Crazy Horse, vote yes. If not, vote no. Four of the ladies agreed with Crazy Horse. Two ladies disagreed. The correct answer is Sitting Bull. If you voted yes, sit down. Good bluff there, Vern. Good bluff. All right. Two ladies are left, side by side. Two guys up here side by side, and we're playing for the big money.
In what country is the car called the Plymouth Arrow made? The United States. If you agree with the United States, vote yes. If not, vote no. And we've got one of each, a split vote here. You said the United States, one agreed, one disagreed. The correct answer is Japan. If you voted yes, sit down. And honey, you're still in the game, and it's going right down to the wire again. Wow, we've had a couple of cost ones today. One lady left in our studio audience. One man, Angel, left up here for the men's team. Pressure. <laughs> no. <laughs> in 1897, Bram Stoker published a book that made a certain horror figure famous. What horrible creature did he write about? Would I lie to you? Con Dracula. All right, if you agree that it was Dracula, vote yes. If not, vote no. All right, she has agreed, and I think she's a little on the nervous side about the outcome of the whole thing. You said the answer was Dracula. She voted yes. The correct answer is Dracula, and you win $500. My name is Deborah Woodcock, and I'm from Riverside, California. And Deborah, what are you going to do with all that money? Buy me a microwave oven. Ah! <laughs> so you don't have to spend so much time in the kitchen. Yeah. Yeah, well, better. Deborah, congratulations you. to you. Go ahead and have a seat right over there. We've given away a lot of money on the Better Sex. We've been on the air now six months. We've given away a lot of money to the people in the audience, and a lot of money to the contestants on stage. This men's team has won $33,000. And in fact, $33,000 was our actual. Uh, no, limit, I think wasn't you, got, you got to 29. 29, you? Yeah, almost Dr. They, to they, the 33. They were shooting for the 34, That's which would have right. tied it. Yeah. Bill and I have had so much fun doing this show, haven't we, Bill? Boy, we really have, Sarah. This is the greatest gal in the world to work with. I'm afraid I've got to share some news with you that we're not too happy about. The ABC network is expanding some of their daytime programming, some of their afternoon soap operas, beginning on Monday. And we're kind of the new kids on the block. We're the newest show on the ABC network. And they haven't canceled our show, but they've kind of put us into a holding pattern, you know, kind of like an airplane when it's flying around in the fog, and they kind of hold you over the airport sometimes. So we're going to kind of be holding over the airport for a little while. We hope very, very much that we're going to get back on the air with the better sex in the not-too-distant future, because we love it. I've enjoyed it more than anything I've ever done in my 18 years in show business, and you people have made it that kind of an enjoyable thing and this lovely lady right here if you miss us i hope you'll write your local abc station or you'll write to the network and tell them put them kids back on and give away some more money i want to say a special thanks for this opportunity on behalf of sarah and myself to mr mark goodson and all the great staff that's worked with us on our show mr bobby sherman i'd like for all of the, the staff to come, come down come on up come on stage come on. come on down we want all of you bobby sherman, so, come here bobby Come on, come Joyce, on. you and Diane, Man, Richard, I love you. Jeff, Teresa. come on, Susan, come on, everybody. We want everybody down here on the stage. Because these are the people that make it all possible. Mary. Mary. We, we have only allowed our best country singer <laughs> in the nation a few moments on our show to sing, and we saved enough time for Bill Anderson to sing us out. Huh? How much time have I got to sing? Anybody? Two minutes we've oh, got for you. Sit down. I'm going to sing this to you and to all the staff. Oh. Okay? All right. I made a record of this song back in 1963, and it sold a million copies, but I'm going to sing it to you. If I cry, get me out of here. <laughs> <laughs> still, though you broke my heart, still. right now and still and always. Thank you. We gotta go. See ya.
Soup time. The full flavored 10 second suits with home style stock. Look for these faces on your grocery shelf. And from Tally Industries, Big Ben Electrics by Westbox. Modern styling, dial light, easy to read, lighter dial, sculpture case, drowse alarm by Westbox. And fill your tote from your own Tic Tac tree. Enjoy a double mouth whack. Hello, Tic Tac, furnished by Ferrero USA. This is Gene Wood speaking for the better sex. A Mark Goodson, Bill Todman production. Wow. 